Now this next one, uh, this next one's about a friend of mine, uh, his name was John. He and I, John and I, sold our wild oats together when we were younger. We ran all around doing horrible things. <laughs> a long time. Very rowdy guy. I haven't seen him in a while. We went our separate ways. I haven't seen him in like, you know, seven to ten. So, <laughs> I saw him again, and he was a completely different person. <laughs> Song's called My Friend Jack. Then a friend came down to see me, brought his family. He was standing right in front of me, but he shot a look to me, and I said, John. What's going on? Well, you're standing right in front of me, but you're not the John I used to know. You see, he used to drink me under the table. He'd smoke those cigarettes. He's pretty quick with a knife and even quicker to make the best. And I said, John, what's going on? Well, you're standing right in front of me, but you're not the John I used to know. Well, he said, I did me some reading, book or two or three. I looked up into heaven, and then Jesus talked to me, and he said, John, look at what you're doing. You better come to accept me and stop all this drinking, smoking, and through. And I said, John, you must be putting me on. Well, your last person I ever thought would give his life to God. You see, he used to drink me under the table. He smoked those cigarettes pretty quick with a knife and even quicker to make a bet. And I said, John, must be putting me on. You're the last person I ever thought would give his life to the Lord. You know, I've had other friends, they turn to Christianity. They quote to me some scripture and they look perplexed at me and I just say, whoa. Now you just hold on. The Lord will speak to Jim like he did John. Oh, John's song. <laughs>